How will this vacuum cleaner help me and my dog be better in detection? Let me show you. Hey everybody, I wanted to make this video to share with you a really cool new device for detection dog teams. This device helps make our jobs maybe safer or more efficient. And this device is called the GetSet Rasco. Many of you have heard of the GetSet tubes, but the GetSet Rasco is a special device where the tube can go into, then connect in some cases to a Dyson vacuum or another type of vacuum that's listed on their website. What this really does for us is allow us to take air samples from inside bags, maybe inside a room, inside a shipping container. So whether you're customs, you work at JRO, you're in conservation, you're a bed bug handler, this device could really help in your efficiency. So let's talk about what is the Rasco. Florian, tell us a little bit about the Rasco and what it is and how it works. Thanks, Cameron, for the introduction. The Rasco, in the end, is just a 3D printed piece of metal. Um, which has obviously a, a certain or special surface where we don't run the risk of having too many molecules that stuck on it. But you have the possibility to insert a blank tube, a Getsen blank tube, and then have it adapted to a vacuum cleaner to then suck in the air from any kind of environment, as you have just mentioned, from ship containers, um, prison cells, uh, or hotel rooms, okay. where you don't even have to enter these rooms, so you make the life of a detection dog team way easier and less dangerous. Okay, so there's a little white tube there that comes with it. What does that do? So you can add this little tube to the end of it. Right, to the end of it. So in the end, it's... Uh, basically just that you don't scratch any surfaces mm -hmm. by using uh, this device yep and yeah so we also have this pipe to okay. curl along the whole system to reach um further away spots like on the ceiling okay. or you want to reach into a certain container um yeah. so you don't have to put your arm inside yeah it gives us a reach gives us height gives us sure. some depth yeah so let's put that on there and see how that works so if I do this right, I can put this here. This would connect to here, like so. And then this connects right into here. Exactly. I, I think that I've to this a little. There we go. Further to the right, exactly, so people can see. So it's just like this. But then we can also have it so we can see it. This looks like an entire, I mean, it gives you some good reads, like you said. I'm setting my air in, and as you can read, see how strong and powerful that is. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment for everybody, and that is my dog's a firearm detection dog. We have a firearm inside a bag. Florian's going to use this to suck the air outside the bag, put that tube into a little Mylar bag, and then create a odor lineup that I have to do and I won't know where it's at. And when I run my dog, we'll see, does he detect the firearm? So in the next segment, we'll show you that part. What we're going to do right now is build together the Rasco, the vacuum cleaner and the blank Getxen tube um, to suck in the air from, in this case, a bag that contains gun parts, just to see how long uh, it'll take us to imprint the blank tube and then to have a dog search it because we don't just want the dog to search one uh, impregnated Getxen tube. We have also prepared um, further containers that will contain nothing uh, or distract the sense. So what we're going to do right now is to prepare the Rasco to insert a blank tube that we're having right here. That fits in the middle cell of the Rasco. You want to put it all the way in. Then you want to hear this little click. And also you can add the white tube. Basically, now we're ready to suck in the air. First, I show you again what is in here. 
as Cameron announced, gun parts. So this is not dangerous anymore, as you see. And also some magazines. What we have also adjusted is this little Velcro, um, just to not have to press three minutes the button of the vacuum cleaner. So we can add it um, to the bag and just let it run the approximately three minutes. So we do it like this. We insert it right here. And the time starts now. So, three minutes are over. We will now take it out. And since we have prepared the lineup already, we will not put it in an extra bag. We will put it immediately into the little container uh, for the lineup, which is right here. Make sure when you use more than one sample to name tag them so you know exactly later on uh, which sample you're using in the lineup. So since we have prepared all of this, we are ready for the search. Before that, I will also uh, uh, insert the distractor sense to the other containers. So we have some plastic components and something else that was lying around in the training area, which will not contain any odors from the target. So we are ready for the search. So now we will grab the distractor tins or containers and Add them to the lineup. And of course, the container with the target odor imprinted on our Getxen tube. To learn even more about the Get Set Rasco, go visit the Get Set website, which is www.getxent.com, and then click on Rasco under the shop. Now, here's an example of the website and the Rasco section of the website. Here, you can see a video about the Rasco itself and how it's designed and how they use it, along with terminology additional diagrams of how it works, why it works, and its connection with the Get Set Tube. All of these things can help you gain more knowledge and the key features to use this great tool that can help you enhance or make more efficient your detection.